Hi everyone, today I want to make a review on the ROG Claymore which is Asus's first modular gaming keyboard. If you may remember, Microsoft has made a keyboard called the Sidewinder X6 many years ago in which the numpad can be repositioned. Even though the Claymore has the same concept, it is now a mechanical keyboard, so let's just take a look. First of all, this gaming keyboard looks pretty simple but ferocious. The entire thing is dominated by the color black, and all of its top surface is made of aluminum with high-end ROG style decorations, which give this keyboard a premium character. The size of the core unit is compact and fits into most if not all backpacks for those who often go on tournaments or those who can live without mechanical keyboards. About the RGB LED, I think it's already standard for something as expensive as a Claymore. Without further ado, let me just explain the main design element which made the Claymore different to other mechanical gaming keyboards, that is, the detachable numpad segment. We can see some sort of contacts on the left and right sides of the core unit as well as the numpad. It means the numpad can be attached to the left as well to the right. This clearly gives you a flexibility you don't have on ordinary gaming keyboards, which I will explain afterwards. Above the numpad, you can find a volume scroll plus mute button, despite it also can be controlled by the core unit with the function key. So even though the Claymore has an overall nice design, I have two suggestions for Asus. First, the connection between the core and the numpad is not solid, which sometimes creates problems when I try to move or rise up the keyboard. Maybe they could implement a couple of magnets or a proper locking mechanism to keep it in place next time. Second, designing a modular keyboard should not be a half-hearted effort. For example, I could use a modular armrest attachment which the Claymore failed to deliver. About mechanical switches, the Claymore has four Cherry MX options, in which the one I got comes in Cherry MX Blue. As a tactile switch, Cherry MX Blue is comfy to play games and at the same time, improving typing speed, despite its loud and most likely going to annoy in your office. The MX Blue is good for playing MOBA, RTS, or MMO. But if you want more responsive and lighter keystrokes for FPS games, get the red or brown ones. The spacing between the keys are okay, including the distance between the core and the numpad. It has a function key that helps you to quickly set this and that, like brightness, RGB cycling modes, music playback, even to overclock and tweak in BIOS. You also have access to other shortcuts, like the activating the Windows button before gaming. Other than bringing your left hand closer to the mouse, with the numpad being placed at the left, you can make some of the numpad into practical macro with the Armory software. Well, Asus Armory is a basic but practical companion software. Here, you can set several interchangeable profiles, turning on and off gaming mode, changing the light color patterns, synchronizing lighting effects with Asus Aura, and of course assigning custom key functions like shortcuts and macro. In custom settings, lighting of individual keys can be easily customized, including colors. Lastly, the macro menu lets you record and save custom macros involving time intervals. Conclusion The ROG Claymore is an excellent, unique, and standout mechanical gaming keyboard that adapts to various gaming needs, which unfortunately is undoubtedly expensive for most mainstream gamers. But for some people, the price tag can be worth it. Let's say you don't need to buy a full-size keyboard for your desk and additionally another short keyboard for tournaments. With a Claymore, you're basically good to go with a single mechanical keyboard that can be reassembled to follow your changing needs. That is just my opinion for the Asus ROG Claymore. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.